Hi everyone, it's Dawn and welcome to my channel. So we're sitting here camping out on my bedroom floor because I have a little bit of a haul video. I hate to call it a haul video because I am not the kind of person who goes out on a spending spree and hauls a bunch of things. Um, I just don't shop that way. It's not in our budget to shop that way. And, you know, every now and then, you know, a couple times a year, maybe I'll go on a little bit of a splurge, but it's, you know, it's nothing compared to some of the hauls I hear, see here on YouTube. Not that I have anything against hauls. I really enjoy them. But what I did here was gather up a whole bunch of things that I've purchased over the summer, over the past few months as they've gone on sale. And um, I have gone through my closet and gotten rid of some older clothes that I have seen better days and I wanted to replenish some summer dresses and maybe some tank tops and things like that. So I did shop mainly at Target, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those kinds of places. I don't shop the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I might get like one thing, but the things that I get typically aren't included in the sale anyway. So I really don't shop the sale. So anyways, let's just get started. And a couple of these things I may have shown or mentioned in a video, but I, Put it all here collectively so that I can share it with you. And one thing is this top that I got, and this is also gonna be in a video coming up or that already happened in Outfits of the Week. And I just got this at Marshalls, and it's a Lucky Brand top. And it's a really soft, nice fabric. It's got this little doohickey here. Um, don't know what you call that, but it's, it's cute. And I like how it's flouncy. I like to wear kind of like a nice top like this with um, denim shorts because I feel like it dresses them up more than just like a regular tank top. So this, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I think it's really cute and I love the color and it was $19.99 and they still have lots of them at the Marshalls by my house. So if you're looking for some cute tops, they have a lot of lucky brand right now and they're all like, um, $16.99 to $24.99, depending on if it's a top or a sweater or jeans or that kind of thing. Okay, the next thing are a couple of tops that I got from Target, and these were $10. They might even be less now because I got them over a month ago. And I got these for summer pieces, but also for layering pieces in the fall. And they're made by Wild Fable, and this is what they look like. They're like high-low tops, so they're cotton henleys, and they're higher in the front than the back, but they're not half tops. They don't really show a lot of my midriff or anything like that. This, the top, the front of it meets like the top of my pants, and then the back hangs further. So you could even wear them with like yoga pants or leggings or something like that. So I got two really basic colors. I got khaki and then this pretty um, gray. And then for layering, I got a couple of sweaters that will work interchangeably with these tops and other tops that I have. And these were, um, I think $15. And so here's one and they're short. They're like little, um, like half tops. So it's really cute. Let me just show you how it would look with the top underneath it. So this is how it would look layered really cute and you can undo the buttons or um, leave them buttoned but I think that's so cute and then of course you know when I like something I grab it up I got a burgundy one too that I thought would be really pretty with either of these with the gray or with the green so they're just some basics that I know I'll wear and my daughters will probably borrow them from me so really like the amount of money I spent on those was like, let's see, like less than $40 for all four pieces. Then I have fallen in love with these tops this summer. I've, I've made so many videos wearing these and I've showed them to you before, but I wanted to pick up a couple of more because once Target is done with them for the season, you won't be able to get them anymore. And so I got a backup of this one because I love this color. I wear it all the time. And these are just made by A New Day 
and they're on sale for $7 or $5.99 and they're originally $8. So they're so cute, so flattering. They're like ribbed tank tops and look really cute on. So I already have that one in that color and it's my favorite. So I, I thought if anything should happen to it or I'd like to have another one in rotation. Um, and then I got it in this plum shade as well. So they're on sale on the Target website, A New Day, and I don't know what they're called, but um, you know, they're just like high and just so flattering and cute on. Okay, then I got a couple of trendy pieces that I know I love. I've shared these pants with you before and I got them in another color. I already have them in cream and in denim. And this is, um, the high rise wide leg pant and these are by universal thread from target and they were on sale but they're originally $29.99 but they're less than that now and they are a denim material and I'm going to show you what these look like so they're just wide leg pants and I'll have to put them on in an outfit of the day because it doesn't do them justice when you see them on the hanger. They're super cute on, but on the hanger, they're not quite as flattering. But I love them, and they're wide leg, and they're cropped, so you can wear them with flip-flops, Birkenstocks. Um, you can wear them with a little wedge heel or a black heel. But even in the winter months, you could wear them with a boot. Yes? No problem. Wait, what time is the this tonight? Um, I think it's like... 5 to 6 30. You can even wear them in the winter months with a boot beneath it, like a, a leather boot, or even like a, um, a Chelsea boot. I think I'll get a lot of use out of these. And I like the color. They're just a rusty color. I thought with a black, something a little fitted on the top. Um, I really like to wear things that are either like fitted on the top and then a little bit looser on the bottom or something a little more fitted on the bottom like I have on today with something looser on the top. I feel like that is the best like fashion tip that kind of balance. If you wear something fitted on the top and fitted on the bottom and then pair that with like a high heel, the whole look is very sexy. <laughs> and I don't always wanna walk around looking like that. My husband wouldn't mind, but honestly, no, he probably would. Um, you know, I, I feel like you have to have that balance. Like I always tell my daughters, especially when they were younger, if you wear something low like this and you're showing a little bit of cleavage, you wanna cover up more on the bottom. Like you just have to be so careful, I think. Um, because it takes the whole outfit from looking classy to a little bit tacky, depending on how you pair it up. Um, those are just some thoughts I have, and you may disagree, but um, anyway, that's how I like to dress. I feel like it's a more modest way of dressing, and, um, and that's important to me. Okay, the other thing I got from Marshalls are some pants from Cloth and Stone, and they are also wide leg pants, and they feel like they're kind of like a linen, let me show you. They're, they're very like wide and um, billowy, I guess would be the word. And you could pair these up with a tank top on the top. I might have to model some of these for you to show you the look I'm talking about, just so you can get the gist of how cute they are when you pair them just right with like the right kind of top and then the more billowy on the bottom. But they're, they're super cute and they have a little tie. And um, I they're so light and airy and very, very comfortable. And I think they're kind of classy too. So I really like those. Then I'm, I got a new eyeshadow palette that um, it wasn't expensive at all. It's from Juvia's Place. And I've been wanting this for a long time. And it's the Nubian by Juvia. And it's this little palette. Um, I've been wanting this palette for a very long time. And I don't know why I just didn't get it. I do have one other Juvia's Place palette. And I should do a look with this. I haven't taken this out for you in a long time. And this is the Nubian and Coral palette. And I really like this palette a lot. And I've had this for about a year, but I really wanted to try this little one because I thought it would be so pretty 
for fall and winter with the burgundies. And um, I don't know, I think it was around $10. A Juvia's Place has these nice little palettes and they have the colors that are like the most popular colors from the larger palettes packaged in the smaller ones. So um, yeah, I'll show you some looks using these Juvia Place palettes coming up this fall and winter. Um, they're just beautiful and they're the only things I have. I did try twice the foundation from Juvia's Place and it was a fail both times. The first time I thought I had gotten the wrong color. I bought the color Isla, which is the second lightest and it's a full coverage foundation and it looked like stage makeup and I thought, huh, maybe the color's a little light for me. And um, so I exchanged it and then I got the next color, the third one in, and I think that one's called Bali, I believe, and the same thing was a fail, so I returned them. And I hate returning things that I open because I know it's such a waste. I hate purchasing things and then having them not work and take them back to the store because I know that they have to then waste it. But don't recommend that foundation. If you are someone who loves it, um, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad it works for you. Let me know if there's any tips on using it, but no, it wasn't good for me. All right, then I found a big score from Marshalls and I replenished an old black sundress and I love this brand. Um, it's an athletic sundress. I love athletic wear in the summertime, um, especially like athletic sundresses from like Title IX or Prana and places like that. And this is a brand that's known for their athletic wear and it's called Soibu. And I got this dress for $19.99 at Marshall's and it is just your very simple, let me show you this, simple dress. It's kind of made out of that material that would wick away moisture and dry. So if you get like sweaty, like I do sometimes <laughs> under my breasts and places like that, you won't have like a wet spot there. It will dry right away. And um, just really simple. And I thought this is really great for any kind of like school activity for my boys I might need to go to, it comes to right above my knee. Again, you could dress it down with flip-flops or you could wear a wedge or dress it up a little bit. Um, it's definitely a summer, early fall, lightweight material. So, um, but I know I'll get many years of use out of this. So I found this, this is a big score for me. And then in my outfits of the week, again, I bought two of the same dress, one in blue and one in green. This is the green one. The blue one is dirty. And this is what it looks like. I love these kinds of tops. They are exactly like the Prana sundresses, the Prana Quinn dress. I've talked about those for years. I love those dresses. And again, they're athletic. They've got a built-in bra, so you don't have to wear a bra with them. And they're just very light and airy. And they come to above your knee. Well, I'm 5'7", so they come above my knee. I'm almost 5'8". So um, if you're shorter than me, they might be a little bit longer. But I got these for $16.99. Oh my gosh, and I just realized that they're Eddie Bauer. That's like a total score because Eddie Bauer has really great quality. So I'm so happy to have found these for $16.99. So I grabbed the blue one and I grabbed the green one. I like to wear these whenever the weather is warm hot like it is here now, but it, as it gets cooler, I'll just throw on a lightweight sweater, a cardigan sweater, a long sweater with it and layer it. So they're just great practical pieces that I'll wear for three seasons, spring, summer, and early fall. Um, all of these things, and then some of these things will go into winter. So even though I, it does look like I mean, there are women doing this at the Nordstrom sale and I'm doing it at Target and not that makes it any better, but still. And I've collected this over the past couple of months. Okay, I at Target I did, I've fallen in love with the Sonia Kashuk brushes. I've been using these four. I've been replacing some of my older brushes with the Sonia Kashuk brushes. And I love these so much that I decided to get a set and this is the complete eye brush set from Sonia Kashuk. And I, it looks like this, and I can't remember how much it was. I think it was about $20, $25 for the complete set. But I 
love the smudger brush in here. They're basically the same brushes, just in a set. Um, so I've got like two of each. So if I'm washing some, then I'll have the others clean. But I was super excited to get those. I don't spend a lot on my makeup brushes typically. I do have some It brushes. I've got some Luxie brushes and some Tarte brushes. Um, that I've picked up here and there. I've even got some from Langholm that have come with palettes and things like that, but I don't typically, oh, and I do have three MAC brushes. <laughs> so I typically don't spend a lot on my brushes. And I find that even though I do have some of those nicer brushes, I still reach for Real Techniques and Sonia Kashuk all the time. So I'm not, um, I'm not very, um, I'm not like snobby about my brushes. Okay. Then, Kleenex. <laughs> you always have to have Kleenex. Um, then I got some of my favorite snacks and I thought I would share those with you. I should have brought them all up. Some of them are downstairs. Hold on one second. Something else I picked up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, probably Marshalls, was these K-Cups for my Keurig and their I Love Fall Maple Brown Sugar. I haven't tried these yet, but um, I'm excited to. So we'll see. Sometimes I like flavored coffee. I like to ice my coffee in the morning and add just a little bit of sweetener to it. And um, so yeah, I'll give you the feedback. This will either be in my favorites or my fails. So I'll update you. And then I have some of my favorite snacks and I get these at Target mainly. So um, these are made by Blue Diamond and they're almonds and fruit. And this is sea salt almonds and whole blueberries. And they are non-GMO, good for you. And they're kind of like a lower carb snack. Um, so I really enjoy these. I eat like a handful of these during the day when I'm really hungry and I'm trying to make it to dinner or something like that. And then these are probably my favorite, the dark chocolate flavored almonds and toasted coconut. And they're dark chocolate, but they're very, very lightly coated. They're not like those chocolate covered almonds where you have layers and layers of chocolate and the almond is really tiny. It looks like this. They're all almond and then there's like a dusting of like dark chocolate on them. So it's not, they're not, there's not a lot of chocolate, but there's enough to satiate any sweet tooth that you have. So I really love these. I've already had some of these. And then I've shared with you before that I don't really like to eat grains. I like to be low carb and not eat a lot of processed white, like rice, flour, breads, you know, things like that. So I do buy these grain-free almond cashew granola. And um, I actually buy it in other flavors too, but this is the one I have right now. And I really like to eat this as a snack, or sometimes I like to pour it on top of some Greek yogurt. Um, and maybe add a little fresh blueberries or raspberries or, or something to it, make a yogurt parfait. But this is another really great low carb snack. And then another favorite are these grain free clusters. And these are, are salted peanut chocolate. And again, they're grain free. So they're like nuts and seeds and things like that. And then this one is almond and coconut. And I've had these are opened and these are not. So these are great snacks. And then a real treat for me would be these thinly dipped dark chocolate almonds. And again, they're really like a very thinly dipped and you can get these at Target. And um, yeah, so they're like, they're dusted with cocoa and a very thin coat of dark chocolate and then the cocoa's on it. So it gives you just a little bit of that kind of bitter chocolate and then the almond and they're so delicious. So these are the snacks that I love to have. I can usually find these at Target. So I wanted to share these with you. Oh, and the last thing that I got that I wanted to share with you are some shoes that I got from Marshalls from a brand called A. Giannetti. And I don't know if they're still there, but they're comfortable shoes. They're made in Italy and they look like Birkenstocks. So they have the rose gold color and the buckle and they have a little bit of a wedge. 
and I have been wearing these. I couldn't wait to share them with you first. <laughs> I've been wearing them about the past five weeks and I just love them. They were $29, $29.99 at Marshalls and so cute, so comfortable, and I'm really, really happy with them. And Birkenstocks does make a pair presently like these, but they're $129, so I saved myself $100. So I couldn't afford not to buy them. <laughs> That's why I always tell my husband, and he disagrees. But anyways, so let me know down in the questions and comments section if you found anything that you would love to share with all of us. And um, yeah, ask any questions or comments below, and thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.